Welcome to Landmark Implement's customer support help videos. These will help you diagnose common issues in a timely manner. When contacting the AMS helpline, you must leave a message. The message is then sent out to all of our CTS employees. The first CTS to get it will then return your call. Also, stay connected with Landmark. Download the Landmark app today. We're going to go in and do some basic display setup. Uh, we'll hit our main menu. Uh, we'll hit the GS3 tab. And then we will do our equipment tab, letter H. Uh, when we hit letter H, we get machine and implement. Uh, we need to tell the display what kind of equipment we're running. I'm going to hit, hit the machine type. I'm going to hit tractor, select tractor. Uh, we'll give it a machine model. And then a machine name. Uh, the connection type is what type of implement we're using. Uh, we'll say we've got a mounted planter. We need to select rear rigid three-point. Uh, it is crucial that we select this so our documentation and our offsets will be correct. Uh, you can see we selected a 8030 series tractor and the change offsets button the B, C, and D are B and C are already populated. Uh, we need to verify that these these offsets are correct. They are pulling from Apex. Uh, it's just a good practice to verify that they are correct. Uh, recording source is also something that needs to be set up correctly. Uh, for this purpose, we only have the whisker switch and the manual record button. Uh, when we're hooked to a tractor, you'll have your SCVs, uh, PTO, and um, if you're hooked to a seed star planter, it will be populated as auto because it recognizes that it's hooked to that planter. Uh, we'll go into our implement tab. Uh, we need to tell the display what, what piece of equipment we're running. Uh, we're going to be pulling a planter, uh, implement model, we will go ahead and select 1770 NT, and then we will select from the list the planter that we're pulling. Uh, for this purpose, we're going to have a 16 row planter. And you can see in the offsets window that it has populated those measurements also. Uh, we can hit the change offsets button, and it lists the offsets that we need to make sure are measured. Um, it gives you the list. Uh, a is the inline distance from the connection point to the front of the implement. Uh, B is the inline distance from the front to the rear of the implement. And it's crucial here that we note that A plus B is the measurement that documentation and section control is using to turn your clutches on and off. Uh, C is the lateral distance. Typically that is set at zero. Uh, D is the inline distance from the connection point to the control point of the implement. And then E is the connection inline distance from the connection point to the connection point of a second implement, should that be the case. Uh, it's critical that we get out and we measure these. Uh, we don't just guess. Don't, don't shoot from the hip. Uh, if you need to change them, uh, you just select the window beside the, the letter that you want to change and your keypad comes up and you can change those. It is good to note that the implement offsets are in feet. And if we go back to our machine offsets, they are in inches. Uh, so it's, it's good to note, note that and uh, make sure we input these correctly. Would you like a support video produced for an additional topic? please email guides at landmarkimp.com. For further support, contact your Landmark location. Landmark Implement, building our business one satisfied customer at a time.